Hey dudes, just getting ready to go to the junkyard, watching some rude dog here. He's working on the rear window on his uh, Bronco. Well anyways, today um, we're going to go to the junkyard because it's they're having our after Thanksgiving 50% off sale. So I figured this would be a perfect time to do a junkyard video. Um, I got some stuff I need to get for the Explorer. I want to try and get an HVAC panel. Um, but my main priority is the keyless entry module, so I'd like to find one of those. Anyways, I'm going to get some tools together and we're going to go to the junkyard. Did I lock it? I don't know where my Swedish nutfucker went, but in they go. Okay, I've never done the head mount with the Explorer before. Let's see how this... Let's see how this pans out. I think it'll work fine. The Honda was never going to work, so fuck that car. Pardon my language. So this thing had 121,000 miles on it when I got it a month ago, and now it's got 123,000. I put 2,000 miles on it, just just get trying to get to know it. <laughs> That's basically it. I just I drive it mostly on my off days. Although I did drive it uh, to work all week, and I had no problems doing 40. You hear, can, I don't know if you guys can hear the whoa, 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 whoa going on, but that's totally going on. And you can't see my instrument cluster because I got my steering wheel tilted down. This is the most comfortable position right here. I like this steering wheel cover. The only problem with it is I, I can't get it to move around anymore. I have to like stretch it out a little bit because I need to straighten it out a little bit. It's driving me nuts. So come on. With the steering alignment, I've got pretty decent doesn't really wander around a whole lot maybe a, a hair which is fine what I didn't like is that you're like this and then it's like that and then and then you let go and it's all springy and the thing wallows you're like god damn it well, yeah it's, this has been halfway decent I can live with it I've towed in a little bit on both sides basically evenly because I'm I, I feel the tires after I drive a little bit and I check for feathering on the outside, which is usually what ends up happening when I do my alignment. And that means I'm towed in a little too far on both sides. So what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna go back, knock knock one out a hair and knock the other one out a hair, just, just a touch. And somebody commented on their way of doing a TTB alignment, and I'm sure it works fine, but I just, I just do it my way. Everybody has their own way, so I do it my way. All right, tubes. I'm glad they packed this gravel down because every time you're like walking on it, you're just like sinking in, and the car doesn't want to move. Normally, I'd be looking for truck stuff. Normally, I'd be looking for truck stuff. But I'm past the point of junkyard parts for my truck. And every time I come out here, there's never anything good, so. We have some extra vehicles out here. I might swing by and take a look. But everything's 50% off today, so. I'm taking advantage of it. So we're gonna go over to the Explorers here. This is where all your typical stuff is. Trucks are always over here. This is the same place we've gone to before. Or in past videos. I'm starting to see some explorers. I can actually find a limited square, uh, the square limited, the 94 limited. That'd be fantastic. Oh look, this one's got manual hubs. <laughs> wondering if I should take everything here I think it's just am I, I'm gonna come back to this one I may uh, consider taking the uh, taking those manual hubs Yeah, it's got both sets. I 
like that cover. Oh, the radiator on this one, the radiator's tiny on this guy. That's where the one that I have it is much thicker than the other one. Yeah, I like these covers. These, these are some cool. Is this what they do now? They just drill these out and then they're like, oh, you know, we could have just taken the cap off. Does it have anything in here that mine's missing? Is it had or it's not missing. Oh motherfucker, it's got look at this. It's got manual shift and five speed in it. Every time. Oh wait, she's got Power locks. Look at this head manual shift. Son of a bitch, tubers. First Explorer, 91. Pretty much the same interior. Okay, yeah, that's been picked open. Oh, it doesn't have any of the anti theft stuff. And then it looks like all the anti stuff stuff is different on the 95, so we have to actually find. Eh. <laughs> so that's that's depressing. Okay. Ugh! What the hell happened here? Oh, it's got power windows. It's a 94. Oh, yes. It's got what we need, tubes. All right. And this also has that extra plug. What is this extra plug for? Hmm. Okay, that's got our module. I'm gonna start up front. I'll just, uh, that's that's broken. Hey, you know what? What I want to know is this have a good module in it. What I want to know is what is this one from? What year is this one from? Okay, so we're gonna. See, at least this is kind of dry. Uh, it had a sub and amp back here. Okay, so da, 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 we're gonna pop this free, being careful of the glass. I forgot to clean my, wash up my gloves, so I am uh, left with going, going raw. <laughs> I should have a bit for that. Right here, it's a T47. is kind of a loose fit. I think it's like a T50, but I'm able to get it with the T47. I just brake torque on it and go the wrong direction. Lifesaver. Okay, get that out of the way. I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to damage anything because this is a good panel right here. So if somebody ever needed this, then come get it. Sometimes in the past we end up destroying stuff, but sometimes you don't have an option. One person got mad at us for destroying Julio lights. Let's see if there's. I also need to pull a uh, EGR actuator valve. I'm gonna grab a couple because um, I think mine is not functioning. Yeah, 
this has got the whole subwoofer system. I'm actually going to install an amp and actually just reuse the one that's in there. So it looks like it's still good. And those things actually bump fairly decently. I think it'll be more than adequate for what I need. Yes, it's got everything. Oh my god. Thank you, Jesus. Yep, and that's where the antenna thing plugs right in the side there. Okay. Yeah, and we have those three plugs. Yep. That's it. I'm, I am very, very thrilled that this is here. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's just get that right out of the way. That's pretty gross. And all the screws are missing on this panel. That's perfect. Except. Peel it back just a little bit more. I kind of want to take this, this switch is, I need a switch. Mine's not working, that back window switch does not work, but that one's all wet. Why does this not want to come out? Sorry, James. There we go. Just tip it forward. Get out of your way. All right. Got that door seal's gone. This had uh, nicer seats, actually. This had the, uh, the leg bolster thing that would pop out. Oh, man. It's a Deckard XLT, that's what that is. Okay, so I just need, I think I was an eight mil. Should just be two bolts holding it up. I can actually disconnect all this. I don't think these really go out. I think just not having them doesn't help. My hands are like, there we go, cold. Ugh, really, it's all jammed in there. All right, where's that 10 mil? I just had it. Ground wires like right in my way. Come on, why is this gonna be so difficult? Good God. Okay. Should also be. Nope. I have the nuts for mine. I just need this whole module. Yeah, buddy. Made in Canada. I don't even know what mine's supposed to have, but it's for 94 remote keyless.
Please be good. Please be good. Dear Jesus. I'll leave that on there in case I need it. So, so far we've got this cool little thing here. And we got this cool little thing that we really, really need. Okay. How are the shocks on this one? They look newer. Oh, what are these up front? I might take this off and see if that's any good. And same thing with the rear. Those look fairly decent. Yeah, those look like Gabriel Guardians. Let's see, what do we got over here? I just kind of want to get an idea, see if we got anything better. They definitely had them replaced before. That's got extra fat ones. This is probably the, Gabriel, the extra fat Gabriel ones. This is an Eddie Bauer. And it too has some sort of Gabriel deal. This has got the cheaper ones. Look like AutoZone replacements. And it's missing the ones in the front. So we have a lot of explorers out here with new shocks. I don't like, I, don't, I, ha I hate shocks with boots. Yeah, I think the one we're looking at right now, I'm gonna snaggle that one. We got a control module. Before I forget, let's, let's pick out that actuator valve. Get the hell off of there, come on. Oops. Get out of there. I really didn't want to break that, but I did. Okay. And we also ate, yep. Okay. Got the actual we got, okay. We got our keyless entry. We've got a fancy cover. We've got an actuator valve. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do we need in the immediate right meow? I don't know. But I'm gonna shut you off for a second. I'm gonna go scan some more explorers and see what other options we have for shocks. I'm liking the, those striking me as some sort of monotube. Yo, I want to get one out and see if it's any good. I do need sway bar bushings. If I can find one that has, well, I'll get new. Hey kids, missing this off my driver's side. Got that, got that. Also got a not broken HVAC panel. I think that's all I got so far. I decided I'm going to take the manual hubs off that other rig. Um, but Also thinking... Since I, I just happen to have a 19 millimeter for that, I was getting close to not being able to take that off, but it broke it free. Now I think that's a 13 up there. I'm gonna get that off, see if that shock's any good. Okay, so I figured out what these are. Looked them up. These are KYBs. Apparently, this is a XLG shock absorber. I think it's like an older version. I don't know how old it is, but. She's nice and stiff, has a slow rebound, and it's very stiff on the rebound. I had a set of KYBs like this one time. They were the same way. Really slow rebound, but very stiff both ways. Or not very stiff, firm, or whatever. Whatever you want to call it, stiff, firm, probably the same thing. Anyways, this came off pretty easy. 19 on the bottom and a 9 16 So this one's good. Take that. I'll go get that other side. Let's see. Is that other side there? I'll be pissed. It's like gone. You're like, Dodge. nope, she's there. She is there. Now I just gotta get the rear shocks off of this one. So this, yeah, this came off pretty easily. 
This one getting off might be a little bit more fun. I'll have to do the top first. It was pretty easy getting it out. It didn't take much effort. Yeah, I just did this on the other one. <laughs> you know, and then the wrench falls off. Yeah, this is like, this is cake. I don't know what's holding the sway bar up. Maybe the bushings at the sway bar. Holding the axle up, not the sway bar. I don't know what's holding the axle up. Durr. And I think it got to a point where I could, yeah, I could do this, undo this by hand. This is, it's like this was meant to be. Well, somebody's put bushings on this thing before. Should we load those up? Go! Cool. Alright, I got these rear ones up. These look fairly new actually, they just look dirty. These were pretty stiff. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Both of them are like that too. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, somebody put these in not too long ago. And then had something go wrong with the vehicle, or just got tired of it. So this is all, all, all of our, a lot of the stuff that I needed today came out of this '94. You know they lose a lot of money forklifting these vehicles, and luckily this one here, if you needed a drive shaft, all the drive shafts are intact because they're tucked up higher up. But trucks, you know, forget about it. If you needed, so like if there was like those steps, if you had a suburban like that and you needed those steps. Got locking hubs now. So it looks like all you need to do go from auto to manual is really just the spindle nut setup and then everything else is the same. It's just the top out you're pretty much swapping out. Looking to see if this thing had anything else. I do need a uh oh, what's missing. Ah I'll show you what I'm looking for. Need one of these okay so check this out so i plugged i don't know if you can see it i plugged that module in check this out <laughs> and even back there yep they all work and then now i've got interior lights i just tried to turn this one on and it, it went click so that doesn't work anymore these work now nice Okay, so that's got any new bulbs up there. And then, yeah, that works. So what isn't working, so if I open this up, interior lights come on. Basically, three doors work. I open this, it doesn't come on. I think the switch is fine. I'm just not sure why. Because before, with all that unplugged, you'd open this up, anti-theft light comes on no matter what door is open. And then now the anti-theft light doesn't come on at all. There we go. I need some air. I actually think I have these bulbs in my other assembly. I'm gonna go pop those out and put them in here. But I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, it, the, the lift gate and this door, when they open up, do not turn the lights on. I'll have to investigate that, but at least I can do this. This is awesome. Okay. That's, that was the important part. So so all of the stuff that I got was going to run $180, which is ridiculous. Um, I got the toolkit thing, so I am I was at like $92, bucks, which is a bit more than what I wanted to spend. But I got some stuff that I need to fix this thing up. So, so I mean, that's I wanted the power locks to work because that was getting annoying. And now I just need to program the remote, or tr attempt to anyways. And then uh, go from there. I need air. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> All right, dupes. I just made it back home. 
I'm actually going to be putting these parts in today, but this is all going to be on a separate video. Probably in the next, it'll be, I think it'll be the next fixing up video. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe a little short. I don't know. But I figured uh, we'd go today, get some stuff. The shocks need to get taken care of. I can't stand it anymore. And it's making me think about it all the time. Every time I drive it. And, and I'm tired of doing this. And Like right now this thing, when it hits a bump, it seems like this one here is really bad. And the one in the back right is also worse. So it, it does this when it rocks a little bit more than this. It's awful. Um, I was going to do a put the camera under the truck and that way you can see the suspension move around. I was going to do it before and after, but I, I'm just getting this done. But hey, check this out. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, anyways, I'm going to end that video here. End this video here. Catch you next time.